Dad, are you just afraid to meet new people? Absolutely petrified. Yes, Amanda! Absolutely petrified. Absolutely scared out of my wits. We walk inside. Let me take my pants off first before we go in. I think that'll help. Hello, everybody. My name is Edward Hartley, and welcome to Dream Daddy. This is a game where you date hot dads. <laughs> and I I have to play this because I things are going to get weird, and I want to be a part of it. And I'm just so excited. I even prepared because all hot dads, all hot dads need to be able to enjoy a glass of scotch. This is the first time, by the only time, ever, ever going to drink on one of my videos. And only for this first one because I need to get it started off right. But just a little bit of scotch because you... Just, I'm just going in. I'm jumping in because you gotta be able to you gotta date hot dads. Come on. I know y'all want to You're all you're all feeling it, too <laughs> Dad <laughs> Dad wake up hmm, Wake up pretend to pretend to be dead uh, That's five more minutes. You said that five minutes ago and also ten minutes ago. Well, I'm very good at what I do I like sleeping <sighs> I finally open my eyes and sit up. I'm lying in the middle of the living room, spooning a moving box. <laughs> I yawn and stretch. Morning, Manda Panda. Aww. Yikes, dad breath. Go brush your teeth. Hey, my breath is awesome, thank you. The other dads are gonna love it. Build that dad. I can build my own dad. I can build me. Let's build me. What am I, what, what, am I big? Uh, kinda. What am I, let's see, where am I? Am I svelte? Am I hairy? Am I- do I wear a crop top? <laughs> do I wear a belly shirt? Is that a crop top? Is it belly shirt? What's the- oh, one's just hairy. One's like a big hairy bear. Okay. This one's just kind of muscular. This one's normal, but less hair. You know what? Let's- I, I need the belly shirt. I, I need the belly shirt. Let's- let's go with the belly shirt. Okay. Where's my complexion? That's fine. Oh, I can turn the hair off! Psh! Nah, I'm a hot dad. I, I need to have body hair. What does my face look like? Uh, I'm more, uh, I'm more like that one, I think. Shadow. Uh, yeah. I need to be able to get a beard. Let's see if I can make. I'm gonna try to make me as best I can. No, not quite. Not quite there yet. I mean, I know. Yes. Goku. I could be Goku. Super Saiyan Goku. That uh, yeah. All right, let's see. Um, that's close. That's close. We'll we'll go with that. I I could go with the messy top knot kind of look, you know, man bun. But let's not. Let's go this one. Uh, let's see. Where's my hair? No, I'm not quite that dark. Yes. All right. Now I need uh, looking good, Daddy. I I know I am. Anime eyes. Yes. 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 Anime eyes. All right. Let's see if we can find my eyes. Cat eyes. Suspicious. Sad. I don't even know. Meowth, maybe? I can't remember. Alright, uh, white. No. Let's, uh, we'll go. Yes. No. There we go. We'll, let's try to be me. Mouths. Yes. Big old dad lips. <laughs> I could definitely go big old dad lips. Mwah. Just kissable lips, man. I just... Yeah, suave is... Mmm, mmm. Look at this. Look at that suaveness. Now we're going skin. We're going. Oh no, we're gonna go skin tone. I don't wear lipstick. You wear lipstick. I don't wear lipstick. All right, where? What? Which one? That one. Yep. Yeah. Okay. We kind of got big, high, inquisitive eyebrows. Kind of. I, I want like the inquisitive, oh, big and bushy. Let's go. Yeah, this one looking. These one look a bit more inquisitive. Like, hello. So ooh, there's facial hair. Where's the beard? There's the beard. Yes, let's make it a little. Let's make it a little lighter than his head. Nope. We go the twin beard, which I don't think I could do to. Oh, I could, but I don't want to. We're gonna go that one. Yes. Glasses definitely need the glasses. Psh, no. Yep. Here we go. No, Dad, you don't look good, so good in pink. I mean, I think you could rock pink, especially with that belly shirt, but... Nose ring, we'll do... It sticks through the beard, that wouldn't happen. Earrings, I have earrings. I have not that many. I don't have that many. 
What should we do? Is it, oh, the, that's like a sinus piercing. A transdermal? What is that? A lip? Nose ring? Let's go. We're going to be edgy. Yeah. Oh, gold, yes, because I am a hot mama. But as a dad. Yeah, we're going to go lots of those. All right. I kind of like the belly shirt. Let's see if we can find something good. I, I like that one, but I like kind of like the flowers. Although these eggs really, really bring out this bring out the uh, shape of my nipples. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is. I need. Uh, yep. Mm, hang on. Yep. I need that. Leave that there. Okay. Should we call it myself? Let's. Edward Dadson. Yep. Edward Dadson, be that dad. I'm definitely going to be, be that, that dad. dad. Okay. Smile as often as you can will make others around you feel more comfortable. Unless you smile like this, <laughs> then, then people don't really like it. Did you fall asleep packing? I got most of it done, I think. Searching around the room, it looks like I did a pretty good job. Every box is sealed except for one. Wait! Hmm. Strangler! What's in it? Looking into the box, I see a bunch of old photos and, and little photo yeah. albums. Whoa, I haven't seen these in years! I'll pull out one of the dusty albums from the top of the pile and we begin looking through it. Look at that cool baby. You're still a cool daughter. Look at that cool baby. <laughs> That's the coolest baby I've ever seen. I just told you that. Look at the egg. I like how you like the egg because, you know, you, you got to help help dad with his eggs. It's the coolest baby. I know, right? The only way your father and I, the only way your mother and I. Oh, so I could go after. I could say that I did. Okay. Well, I'm going after dads, so we're going to do it that way. The only way your father and I could get you to stop crying was to put sunglasses on you. But whenever we tried to take them off, you started crying again. You spent the first two years of your life with sunglasses on. <laughs> nice. Halloween when you were maybe four? As a tutu-wearing dinosaur shark thing. You no, know, with a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle? I don't get it. Oh my god, that dragon costume is also a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. You couldn't decide what being a princess about between being a princess or a dragon, so we went with both. Princess dragon. Hmm. Why do I remember crying in that dragon costume? You saw yourself in the mirror and realized you were afraid of dragons. Seeing yourself inside the dragon mouth was a realization of your greatest fear, I think. Mm. Right. Yep. Definitely repress that memory. As you should, that's embarrassing. And this was you in your horse phase. Aww. Dad. I believe you named that plush horse Sir Horsington the Brave. I don't think that was his it's like Amanda lunges for the photo but I quickly snatch it away and hold it above her head with my superior dad arms nice try but this is important blackmail for later down the road go ahead and try me I've seen pictures of you and your ska band hey I rock the ska ouch kid the ska communist manifesto had a <laughs> manifesto 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 had a chance back in the day. Although Manifesto definitely is a bad pun. That kind of goes along with this whole deal. But I'm, yeah. I look off into the distance and reminisce about the rad horn section. Yes. That was me. Hey, it's Emma P. Aww. No, Dad, that's Emma R. I didn't meet Emma P until high school. Honey, I promise you wholeheartedly that I will never stop mixing those two up. Ugh. Just for you. Because you're my beloved daughter. Dad, MR has been my best friend since I was seven. Give it, a, give it like a little bit of effort. No. Oh, right. Emma P was the one who... Oh. Tried to steal people's pets. That'd be fun. Fired a flaming tennis ball at the police station. Even more fun. Pooped her pants during a sleepover. That's a bit embarrassing. I don't really want to do that. I'm definitely going to say fired a tennis ball at a police station. Lighter fluid, tennis ball, tennis racket, right? Dad, that was you. Oh, right. Oh, right. I was a wild child. Yes, I was. That certainly was me. Look at me. That beard definitely definitely says flay... Uh, if I can actually get words out. Definitely says arson. I was six when you did it. Oh, so I was an adult. Okay, Amanda. I wasn't aiming for the police station. It just happened that there was a police station in the vicinity of where I wanted to hit a flaming tennis ball. Ugh. Yeah, I remember you explaining that to, to the police. They didn't believe me either. Hmm. No way. Anyway, I gotta show this to MR later. She'll get a kick out of it. The first photography award you ever won. Yeah, and it got us $20 gift card to McFridays. And then you got food poisoning from the cheesy tostada blast. Blasts. 
I think you mean food poisoning, you know, with a Z? Ugh. Dad, still can't drive past McFridays without gagging. <laughs> uh. Still proud of you, though. Amanda reaches deep down into the box and pulls out one mm. last photo. Neither of us say a word. We stare at the photo for a long moment. Mm. I finally decide to break the silence. This is the day you were born. This is the day we adopted you. Which one should I do? Kind of difficult because obviously you can, you know, obviously have it both ways, but... I kind of like adopted better. It's kind of a funny story. The day we brought you home, we got into a car accident. It wasn't anything big, just a little fender bender of the parking lot. But of course, I was freaking out. And the little old lady who crashed into us was freaking out, and I didn't know what to do. But your father, oh man. He holds my hand and looks me directly in the eyes. The calmest I've ever seen him. He says, it's okay. It's all gonna be okay. That's sweet. Uh. He was right, you know. I stare at the picture for longer. Maybe too long. I miss him. Me too, Dadson. Can't even begin to. Im I can't even imagine what it must be like for Amanda. Mm. She pats me on the back. Huh. Come on, pops. We gotta finish packing. The moving van won't wait forever. You're right. Oh. We let's do this. Amanda and I pile into the car and take one last look at the old house. Ah. <sighs> See those old scorch marks? Those are from the old tennis balls that just didn't quite make it. So many memories here. Hard to believe your father and I bought this place almost 20 years ago. Look at them eggs. Huh? Hey, remember when I shattered the front window playing catch? You always had very strong arms. Hey, remember when I shattered the other front window pretending to, pretending to be a robot who breaks windows? You were a very imaginative child. It's like he doesn't, well at this point obviously he doesn't really care. It's been you know, years ago, but still, it's like you were very imaginative. Now you probably shouldn't have done that. Hey, hey remember when I broke the back window playing like we, we get it. You break stuff. Oh. <laughs> and there'll be plenty more stuff to break in the new place. Memories to make and stuff to break. Yes. Mm. That rhymes, because I am poetry master as well. Didn't, I bet you didn't know that about your old dad. You ready? We sit in silence for a moment. I watch, I watch my daughter grow up in this house. I will forever hold a place in my heart, but it stings a little bit to leave it behind. I'm ready. The moving band be begins to pull away, and I get the car into position to follow it. I watch our house, our old house. Disappear in the rearview mirror. So, so what? Mm -hmm. So sell me on our cool new pad. I clear my throat, doing best to do my best cheesy announcer voice. See, it leads me into it. I can be cheesy now. <laughs> Nestled in beautiful scenic downtown Maple Bay, our new house features. Oh come on, wash and dry hookups, a two-car garage, multiple places to sleep. Uh, all these are kind of boring. Let's do this one. Not only are there bedrooms for your sleeping pleasure, but couches and floor, spa and floor space where you can, yes, catch a wink. What a deal! I mean, if we if we uh, if sleep weren't for the week. Uh-huh, sure. You sleep more than anyone I know. I admit my faults, Pops. I keep it real. Anyway, it's also, a small, it's also smaller than our last house. Cozier, one might argue. Very good spin. I knew you were smart. I think it's great. Won't we be closer to a lot of cool stuff that we can walk to so I don't have to waste gas? And I mean, trying to park downtown is, you know. Amanda, you know you're going to have to learn how to parallel park at some point, right? Mm -hmm. Not going to happen, Pops. I think someone needs to do a three-point turn on their attitude. Yeah, you better learn to you appreciate what I want to do for you, kid. I don't know how to do that either. Well, it looks like you're maybe not as smart as I thought. Have you met the neighbors yet? Not yet. But the neighborhood seems pretty quiet. Mm -hmm. So you won't have to chase any, uh, chase any rowdy teens off our lawn? You are the very teen you mock when you say that, honey. I mean, look at that ribbon. Hmm. I'm in my last year of high school. I'm practically dust. Yeah, you're a real... Don't you dare. Senior. Hmm. <laughs> Dad, I know that where this is going. Citizen. <laughs> dad jokes. Gotta have dad jokes. I'm just gonna ignore that. But I won't forget it. So what's item number one on the new house agenda? Well, first, we'll need to forge a path through the solid wall of boxes that's blocking the living room. I still have to install the washer and dryer. We need to go grocery uh -huh. shopping. Pops, cool your jets. You have to promise me that we're gonna take a break and explore the neighborhood. Okay, okay, you're right. We'll get some work done and then check the check out the area. Check the area out. 
We pull up to the new house and step outside. The lawn is freshly mown and the for sale sign is still in the yard. Hiya! Kick! And with a swift kick from Amanda, the for sale sign is no more. Nice form, sweet pea. I got a problem with authority. Not my authority, I hope, because I'm your dad. You gotta listen to me. I am so proud. Man, all that karate chopping tuckered me out. I could really go for a sandwich. But you didn't karate chop it, you karate kicked it. Those are two very different things. You gotta get those straight if you're gonna be a karate master someday. Huh. An ice cream sandwich! Yep, I totally agree with that plan. Sweetie, it's 10 a.m. We need to unpack first, I need some coffee. Did you even see all the dogs in the park nearby? What does that have to do with anything? What, I don't... Let's do that one. You know it. Thank you for moving us to an area where the dog uh, where the dog to person ratio is very high. I only want what's best for you. I hope you're prepared for the frequency at which I interrupt conversations to yell DOG to rock it way up. I mean, you do that a lot already. Hey, it's a dog! Mm-hmm. Wait, false alarm. It was just a funny shaped rock. You little scamp. If you want to see real dogs so bad, let's go to the park around the corner. You can have save bookmarks directly to your desktop. What bookmarks? Like, uh, point in the story? So I can come back whenever I want? Amanda and I begin to stroll through the neighborhood. I can't believe how beautiful it is outside. Kids are playing in the street, the flowers are in bloom, and the faint smell of a nearby barbecue drifts through the air. Ah, <sighs> ribs. This place is nice. Mm. Too nice. I don't trust it. Good eye, honey. I like, I like you're a very, very supportive father, and I appreciate that. Like how you both have things for eggs. I like that too. You can never be too careful. See that baby in that stroll over there? Government operative. Hm. We're on to you, baby. Yes. Don't you don't pull out that rattle. That's really a stun gun. We walk for a while and eventually end up at a small park. Toddlers chase each other through the playground, and dogs of all shapes and sizes romp through the grass. It's pretty crowded, but Amanda spots a nice empty bench. We start to make our way over to it when... Heads up! Whoa. Ow! A frisbee suddenly hits me in the face! Ow! Woof! Ah. A corgi with a neat plaid handkerchief. Plaid. Handkerchief tied around its neck bounds up to me, wagging its tail. It's like, hey, that's my frisbee! Did you throw this thing at my head? Uh, uh... I like your necktie. Woof! He runs around in circles and nudges my leg with his nose. Oh god, this is the cutest dog. I don't know, I'd prefer a golden. Let's be honest with ourselves here. Uh, impart upon me your wisdom, tiny dog. I'm kind of a weird dad. Let's, let's... Uh, woof, woof! Uh-huh. Yes. I do agree that trees are definitely too tall. How long do I have left? Hang on. Oh, right. Uh, how did you know? Barf! <laughs> Morf! <laughs> My god, this dog knows more than he lets on. You definitely could have caught that. The guy in a Hawaiian shirt jogs over. Hey, buddy. Mm. Look at that belly. <laughs> the guy in a Hawaiian shirt jogs over to us and takes a frisbee from me. You know, frisbees are traditionally caught with your hands, not your face. Should I, should I try to use a deep voice? Because I'm probably going to run out of voices and they're all going to sound similar. So I'm not going to do two different vo too many different voices for the dads. Well, you're traditionally not supposed to aim for people's heads. It's a new technique. I'll catch it with my teeth next time. The teeth want to be funnier, but I like this one. It's a new technique. It's like disc golf, but the goal is my face. Looks like you're winning. I like how you're a quick flirt. <laughs> yeah. Ha, huh, I'm just messing with you. I'm Brian, by the way. I knew you'd like me. Look at that. Yes. That smile shows me that I'm your favorite. I'm Edward, and this is my daughter, Amanda. Look over at Amanda, only to find her sitting on the ground, rubbing the dog's tummy. <laughs> Hi! Uh. Your dog's cool. Ah, old Maxwell sure loves the attention. I bet he does. Look at that smile. Look at that necktie. It's great to see another father and daughter out here on such a sunny day. Where's yours? Brian gestures over to the grassy knoll, where a young girl sits on the checkered blanket. She's reading a book bigger than her head. She puts it down and heads over to us. Hey. This is Daisy. She's reading the brothers, uh, Karamazov... Her teacher tells me that she has the reading comprehension skills of a high schooler. How old is she? Ah. Ten! She's a precocious little youngster. Hey. Whoa! 
My natural dad instinct kicks in. I must brag about my child's accomplishments. Yes. Oh no, it's happening. Oh no. Go on, Daisy. Tell him about yourself. Um, I... That's my girl. Amanda, get in there. Okay, okay. This <laughs> is just... <laughs> oh my god, this game's great. This game's great. Why is it my... No, it should be her health. She's the one who's battling. Uh... Uh... Spelling bee photo. Fumbling through your phone's browser, you managed to pull up a photo of Amanda, winning her 10th grade spelling bee. It's like, wow, congratulations, Amanda. Daisy is getting prepped for her annual spelling bee right now. Hopefully this will be her third win in a row. Yikes! You lose 5 HP. Oh no, I lost. Daisy just started a weekly chess club at her elementary school computer lab. It's like, she's the president too, of course. Dang, my high school doesn't have a chess club. Or a computer lab. You lose 10 HP. Signifies, okay, I'm gonna win, don't you worry. Amanda here just recently won a local photography award. Like, wow, congratulations! Brian loses 10, that's right, because I am the best. Daisy actually just won a statewide poetry contest. Lose 15. I'm gonna lose! No way am I not losing this fight. What is this? Can't switch daughters. Amanda's your only daughter. <laughs> I'm like, that's an option! I like how that's an option. I can choose a different daughter. Let's brag again real quick. Last week, unprompted, Amanda helped an old woman with her grocery bags. It's extra powerful. Brian loses 20 HP. Yes, we're tied, although he's probably going to have something here. Daisy sold enough candy bars this year to get the top prize. A canoe! It's like, we're taking it out next weekend. How is that even possible? Amanda could barely get one of those sticky hand things. It's extra powerful. No, it's not! You stupid. Uh, grade card. You pull a wrinkled copy of Amanda's last grade card out of your back pocket. I like how you have it on you. You gotta have that shit on you. You can't not. Dad? Awesome grades! Brian, Brian loses 25 HP. I'm in the lead. You really carry that around everywhere? No. No. Ouch. Maybe it is kind of weird. You lose 5 HP. No, come on! Did I mention Daisy said her first word at 10 months? Daddy! Amanda's was potty. Still cute, but maybe this isn't the time to bring it up. You lose 10 HP. Come on! Alright, should I... Uh, band, uh, no, uh. You unfill your wallet to reveal a tiny copy of a drawing of a cornucopia Amanda did in the first grade. Cute! It isn't very impressive, but Amanda genuinely appreciates you holding on to it. Brian loses 10 HP. You regain 20. Daisy here has all of her adult teeth. Never had a cavity either. Amanda self-consciously pushes her lips together to hide her teeth. It's extra powerful to lose 20. Well, I just gained 20, so now we're tied. So, so, uh, brag. Uh, Amanda's in all honors classes this semester. He loses 10. Oh, really? I'm actually talking to Daisy's teachers about having her skip a grade. Even Amanda kind of... No! Kind of bristles with that. No! Dang, he's really got us beat. Boy, it's been such a treat getting to meet you two. Ugh, did he have to insult to injury by being such a gracious winner? Yes, because he's an awesome, sexy man. Look at him. Come on, really? So, I take it you guys are new to the neighborhood? We just moved in. Do you live around here? <laughs> yeah, we live in that cul-de-sac down next to the coffee shop. What a coincidence. That's where we live, too. Small world. Yeah, Daisy and I are in that little ranch-style house on the corner. I know that house. It's just like ours, but slightly bigger and better landscaped. Does this guy have to doubt outdo me in everything? Yep. Dads, daughters, houses, dogs. Pretty much everything, really. You're kind of a sad sack. What a lovely place. He grumbles under his breath. Well, I don't want to take up any more of your time. Really nice meeting you guys. You'll have to stop by at some point. Yeah, definitely. Bye. Brian and Daisy walk further into the into the park with Maxwell Bubble. Bye. I forgot I missed it. I'm sorry. And I'm just sitting there sulking. Do you get the feeling that he was trying to one-up us? Hmm. Trying and succeeding. I can't believe that kid's only 10. What was I even doing at her age? Uh, I believe he had a bit of a thing for horses? Shame that didn't pan out. Could have majored in comparative horse studies. It's not too late to mire in horse creative writing. Too close to the truth, Dad. Too close. Just too soon. Ugh. Too soon. 
Let us never speak again of the fantastic adventures of Sir Horsington the Brave, an epic in seven parts by Amanda Dadson. <laughs> Dadson, yes. I would say dad daughter, but Dadson is so much better. <laughs> we laugh off the, laugh off the, off the horse epic and walk around the park a bit more enjoying the day. Coffee shop, unpack, take a nap. Let's go to the coffee shop. Let's meet some more dads. Got to get my hands on a nice hot cu cup of the old bean juice or I'm going to be useless all day. I think we passed a coffee shop on the way here. Maybe we could check that out. Let's do it. Yes. Nothing can beat reading in print. Walk down the street to the Coffee Spoon, a cute little place on the corner. Man, this is such a convenient walking distance from our place. I mean, I guess. Huh? What's wrong? Why would I go somewhere else and drink coffee on a couch when I could just drink better coffee at home on my own couch and not have to make awkward eye contact with other people? Oh, come on. Come on, Dad. You want to flirt. You know you want to make very awkward con eye contact with dads and then flirt with them. At least when I'm home, at least when I'm home, some random guy isn't going to come up and sit on the recliner next to me, and I won't feel like a little weird about it because technically he's not sitting at my table, but he's very much within my personal zone. Ooh. You love it, Dad. And what's the etiquette when you have a dirty mug? Is there a bin? Do you set it up on the counter because you don't know where else to put it? Or do you leave it there and fill your face flush hot with shame as you consider the possibility that there is in fact a bin somewhere just out of sight, and now you're that jerk who left their mug? Ugh. Dad, are you just afraid to meet new people? Absolutely petrified. Yes, Amanda! Absolutely petrified. Absolutely scared out of my wits. You walk inside. Let me take my pants off first before we go in. I think that'll help. Oh, wait, no. I'm supposed to imagine them and they're under. Mmm, hello, you sexy man. I love the tattoos and the hair. The inside of the coffee shop is incredibly warm and inviting. Vinyl records line the walls and patrons lounge around the well-worn in couches. Some cool tunes spin on a record player next to a little stage. Oh. Welcome to the Coffee Spoon, guys. How's it going? What's with the name? Hey. Oh, it's, uh, it's kind of dumb. Uh -huh. It gets mentioned in the poem I like, and I thought it was a good idea at the time. And I suppose now it's still a good idea because, like, the business is still running? Mm. But people ask me that question all the time, and I give them the same answer every time, and now I'm standing here rambling, and I'm just sure we're all getting more and more uncomfortable the more I keep talking, but man, we're in it now and I can't stop. I like you already, Matt. Awkward silence. More awkward silence as I stare at his, as I imagine his six-pack abs. <laughs> so, what will it be? Yeah. I scan the chalkboard menu and immediately overwhelmed. I'll have a uh, Godspeed you black coffee, iced tea, iced tea gang, and Sarah Chai Ant Ward. I have no idea what any of these things are. But we're gonna go with just a simple black coffee. I knew he'd like me. Look at that. Yes. You love me already, you sexy man. A classic. I don't get it. Oh, it's a pun. Godspeed, you Black Emperor is a really amazing and influential progressive rock band known for their sweeping soundscapes and... Hey. I'm just going to stop talking. I'm going to ramble because I find you absolutely adorable. I'm doing the thing again. I know you find me adorable. Just tell me right now. But coming right up. Hmm. And for you... I'll have a macchiato de Marco, please. Okay. Coming right up. Do you want that in small, medium, or biggie smalls? <laughs> uh, medium? Wait, is biggie smalls big or small? Um, I should change that, shouldn't I? Maybe. Matt sets to making our drinks, and Amanda and I will take a seat on one of the couches. I, I oh my god, I can't, I, this, I, playing this is a joke, and I'm absolutely adoring it. But so many of these people, especially my character and then this guy, resonate with me on so many levels just because they're awkward individuals. And I, I'm i so like that, it's scary. What's his deal? It's like, let the man make his puns. They're cooler, <laughs> they're cooler bands than you listen to anyway. Thanks, kid. Thanks for supporting your old dad. Hey! Hey! Ska was cool once. This couch is actually pretty comfy. Maybe not comfier than our couch, but it's all right. Good lumbar support. You sink right into it. Okay, it's comfier than our couch. <laughs> I like that look. It's like, you know it's comfy. Amanda nudges me. Huh. This place is right next to our house, and that guy seems not only cool, but also just as uncomfortable talking to other people as you are. And yet he owns the place. He talks to people on a daily basis. 
Then again, so did I, and I'm always... I talk to people on a daily basis, and I'm always awkward talking to them. You should totally become friends with him. Or, you know, have him fall in love with me. Uh, I don't know. Hm. Come on, what do we say about meeting new people? I can't meet new people if I always stay inside and also don't go outside and also don't talk to people. Very good point. That is how I live my life every day. When I can help it. Ah. See? We're making progress. Matt sets our drinks down on our table and I immediately burn the roof of my mouth. Good one. Ah. Hi, we're new in the neighborhood. I'm Amanda and this is my dad, Edward. Hey. Oh, right on. Pleased to meet you both. Oh. You ought to come by when my daughter's hanging around the shop. You two might get along. Yeah, I'm sure we'll maybe come in from time to time. Amanda kicks my leg under the table and is like, Be nice! I'm sure we'll be in here a lot. <laughs> hey. You know what? Let me get your guys' opinion on something. Matt goes into the back and comes out with a fresh plate of something that smells amazing. Oh. I'm working on a new banana bread recipe and I need help coming up with a name for it. Well, I think we're going to have to taste test it first so we can uh, get the full flavor profile of, you know, and really appreciate the favorite sensations of... Amanda nods vigorously. She knows this game. Yeah, we need to give that nana bread... That nana bread a taste if you want us doing free creative labor. I think that would be uh, commensurate with... Uh, I've taught her well. We have trained for this day. I was just going to give you guys free banana bread anyway. Right. Yes. That. Matt serves us each a piece. Amanda and I happily chow down. This is amazing. Hey, dude. Thanks. The secret ingredient is bananas. No. What? Bananas? How do you do it? So, any ideas? I'm stumped. Well, I think I might only be able to give you dad pu dad band puns, but I'll give it a shot. Banana bread. Kennedy is grateful. That might be fun. Right said banana bread. This grateful bread, I think, might be the best one. Hmm. Oh, come on, dude. That's good stuff. Like the jam rock band fronted by Jerry Garcia? Wait, what? That actually has a nice ring to it. Really? Hey. Yeah. Grateful bread. Strong decisions. That's art, baby. I know you don't like it. Don't pander to me. I know he didn't like it. He, he hates me now. Oh. I wanted to say baby because I thought it would sound cool, but once I said it, I realized that it just doesn't sound good coming out of my mouth, and maybe I should just leave saying baby to the professionals. Hey. Hey. Enjoy your coffee. Thanks, baby. Hey. See? Sounds good when you say it. Because well, I'm awesome. Across the way, a man catches my eye. He sits by himself, brooding over a cup of coffee. Our eyes meet, just for a moment. He's just staring at me, enjoying my beautiful visage. I hastily look away, hoping he didn't catch me staring. Who is that? We finish up our drinks and head out. Hey. Thanks for stopping in. Take care. Okay, now that we're full of caffeine, where to? Ah, uh, yeah, I should probably get to unpacking. I've got a lot to, on my plate right now. Did you know that moving is one of the biggest sources of stress for adults? Is it right behind the constant fear that you smell bad and everyone's too polite to tell you? No, I think that one's a bit higher up. Probably. No, it's not. It's not, Dad. It's really not. Do I, do I smell bad? Amanda gives me a whiff. You're fine, Pops. Let's go home. Thanks, kid. The only acceptable time place for decaf coffee is never and in the trash. If I drank coffee, I'd probably agree. Get to work on packing in the various boxes around the living room. Okay. So, I'm going to call that good for this episode. We played for a little while. I'm going to try to keep these episodes short. We'll try to get a lot done in each episode. So, let's save. I'm saving. But I gotta say, this game is so much fun. I didn't think it would be this just generally entertaining. Because it is just, it is, it, I mean, it has puns, the jokes are terrible, it's awkward, and I resonate with it so much. I just can't not play this. I'm so playing more of this. I'm, it's so much fun. I hope you would, you're, stick with me through this, because I think you're going to like it too. It's just... It's just going to be a hoot. I'm going to love every second of it, I'm pretty sure. Especially when things get even more awkward and weird. But, yeah, I hope to hope you, you know, stick around for this because this is going to be a lot of fun. So, thank you all so much for watching and hope to see you in the next video. Bye. Uh oh, no.
Oh no. I don't like this one bit. I, I don't like this even a tiny bit. Is he pretty good house? Is that... Oh good fucking... Oh. Oh, I'm too high strung for this. I don't know my own strength. 